everyone and welcome back to my channel you'll notice the background's a bit different I'm officially in the house and i'm in the kitchen area right now we're gonna work on the kitchen there'll probably be many videos on the kitchen all the time because i'm always changing my mind so we'll see <laughs> um but today the big thing is we got our buffet table or server table to put the microwave on so we're gonna set that up and i'll show you guys how we're gonna set the kitchen up. Well, I'm not gonna show you because I don't know how to do it yet, so we're gonna decide it together. All right, so this is the current situation with the kitchen. We have this eat-in dining area. However, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's pretty narrow. Like, you could probably fit one of those bistro tables where it's a table and then just a chair on each side, but for our four-person dining room table, it does not fit here. It's just, it's a bit too narrow because of this half wall. Oh, and by the way, this wall is a half wall, so it's also like a weird separation. No, it's not weird. What's weird is just that it's not totally open so that there's definitely a barrier here in the kitchen in the family room, but it just creates an awkward space, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So now come in this giant 87 pound box that I made Michael carry in because it was so heavy I couldn't pick it up. <laughs> um, yeah, this is huge. So it's called the Southport Surfer, no, Southport Buffet. Um, and we got it on Wayfair and actually Michael's parents bought it for us though. So thank you to them. It'll be very, very nice. So the plan is to put it here um, because over here in the kitchen, you'll notice this microwave is literally taking up the entire counter space. Um, it's it's too much, like we lose so much space by this giant microwave. So I figured it'd be nice to use this space, put the microwave on it, and then I wanted something that I could also put my cookbooks on, so what's nice about this server, I don't know I keep calling it a server, buffet table, is it has cutouts, open shelves to put cookbooks in, or whatever you want, but I'm gonna use it for cookbooks. And then it has cabinets. The plan with the cabinets is I wanna put some of our appliances in it. So we'll go ahead and open this and start putting it together. I also love that Michael decided to go take a shower right as I told him I was gonna film. So if you hear water uh, and all that, it's gonna be a shower. Also, I just realized all the tape is on the bottom of this. So now I'm gonna have to uh, open it somehow. Okay. two persons to assemble this unit. And it has one guy by himself with a sad face. Okay. Um, okay, screwdrivers, I got those. Oh, we have multiple, okay. Um, do, do, do. Check that everything is present. Well, you know what? We're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see if we can do it by ourselves. Um, okay, it says get a towel or blanket. Okay, we have our, oops, towel, well, blanket, step, okay. Do not use power tools and take everything out. Okay, what is this? This is the connecting room? I don't know. Here we go. Okay, all the pieces are out. It is taking up most of our kitchen and living room. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is put together the bottom shelf. So I just finished piece one. Now I'm on to piece two. And so far, it's pretty easy. Um, just doing stuff with wooden dowels and screws. Ow. I just put my knee into the screws. Anyway, it's pretty easy when I just want to put my knee into screws. <laughs> but I'm 
I'm really impressed with this quality. It looks, like it looks really nice. And everything's like lining up really well too. morning uh, I finished up most of the buffet thing last night so I'm gonna show you guys how it looks so far so it's currently on its side <laughs> um, but got the two sides on here uh, this top part was a little frustrating because I got it all put together and then realized I forgot to put there's like little wooden um, dowels these things here I don't know what to call them um, and you're supposed to put one here, two here, one here. And then same thing on the other side. And I completely forgot to put them in. So I put all this together and then had to take all of it off. Michael actually had to help me with that part because by that point I needed someone to hold this so all this didn't fall. <laughs> um, but it's looking really good. So this is where there's gonna be a shelf here. You can see these holes, it's adjustable. Uh, so there's gonna be a shelf in here and then two doors that um, actually are magnetic. I think this is where the magnets go, these little holes right here. Um, and then up here, there's gonna be a big, you see how like this is open here? On this top part, there's gonna be a big shelf. And then this flat piece right here just goes in on the back. Um, but I couldn't finish putting it together because the next part is the shelf. And unfortunately, I'll come and show you over here. Um, it appears the shelf was cracked in transit. Um, so I'm gonna email them today and just let them know and see if they'll maybe send another one. It sounds like in the manual they will, but, but yeah, so this is what's gonna go on top. This is the shelf that goes in the middle and then the doors. I'm really happy with it. Like it's, it's really good quality. It looks really nice. I love the like lines here. Um, and I think it's gonna look really good right here in the kitchen. Hello everyone. It is a few weeks since I last vlogged this project here. It's also now actually in the kitchen and has something in it. Uh, I mentioned that the top was cracked. We finally just got the new top in. Let me show you. So, it was just a small crack over here. Um, but when this piece came in and was like cracked, it basically just had like four really small like plastic covers on the edge. Um, this is how they sent the new one. It's completely wrapped in this like styrofoam stuff, bubble wrap. And not only is this bubble wrap, this is like very tightly taped on. Like they are not messing around. Um, so I'll open this up in a minute so I can put it on, but I just wanted to show how well they wrapped it. This is, I think, kind of where this will live. I think I'm gonna move it a bit more to the right. Um, it's looking really good. Uh, Michael put the panini sandwich maker thing here, um, see if it would fit, and it does. The handle's a little taller than I wanted. Like, if you look at where we have to put the pegs for the shelves. I'm not sure how exactly I'm gonna do the shelves, um, but we'll figure that out. I gotta figure out too what else I wanna put in here. But it's looking really good. The back piece is on here, so nothing falls through. Uh, this open part here is where I'm gonna put cookbooks, and then we'll just put the doors on, well, top on, doors on, and then I think actually before I put the doors on, no, I'll put the doors on. All right, I'm talking myself out of it. I'm gonna put the doors on, then I'm gonna get the appliances I wanna put in here and see what fits best. Oh no. 
So I have some bad news. <laughs> oh no. Um, this base that I put in weeks ago, one of the first things, um, turns out I put it in backwards. Let me show you. So I'm supposed to put this magnetic thing here. I notice there's no holes. You'll notice the holes are back here. So this is supposed to be facing forward. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. That's probably why this piece never set. Cause it's supposed to be in here and it's not. Okay. Um, we'll figure something out. All right, I've got out all my various appliances. I know not all these are gonna fit. So I'm gonna do my best <laughs> to at least fit as many of them as I can. So I think I'm gonna try to put the shelf in now and then do the doors afterwards. Um, I'm kind of bummed about this that I've Put this in backwards. I looked through the instruction book. This is literally step number one, or step number two is put this on. So I am not taking all of this apart just to fix this. So I think when Michael gets home, I think he has some drill bits and we might try to just line this up and make some holes and then put that magnetic part in. We'll see. Or we might just never have the doors fully closed. Also an option. <laughs> we'll make it work, that's for sure. But I'm excited, it's looking good. So it looks like for whatever reason, so the shelf kind of cuts out for the corners, which makes sense. But for whatever reason, it's way tighter against this side, like the front, than it is the back. And I can't seem to get the back support in or it to rest on here because it's just so tight. Okay, this is the final product. So we have the microwave up here on top. It's actually not centered. You can tell there's a lot of space here because this is actually where I put all my extra baked goods. So it's an easy access for us to eat them. <laughs> I just moved them for this video so you could see how much space there was. This perfect shelf for all my cookbooks, I put out some cute little pumpkins. And I love this because the cookbooks are super easy to grab. Uh, the Chrissy Teigen ones are my favorite. <laughs> and then this is how everything is organized inside. So, oops, okay. So I have mini food processor here, waffle iron, giant wok, popcorn maker, um, induction stove pad and mortar and pestle. I keep it in the box just to keep it protected. The Dutch oven and the patini, panini press waffle maker. So we ended up finally figuring out, apparently this like just chills on top of the ledge. I was trying to stick it in it. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I did put this on backwards and we weren't able to get the magnets on, but it turns out there's magnets here that are definitely strong enough here, I'll show you. I don't know if you can like see, like it's pretty sturdy. So I am very, very happy with it. I think the only thing we might try to do is get some drill bits to make a new hole for this right door so it's not crooked, but it fits so perfectly. It fits everything we need and it looks awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this little put together somewhat DIY, not really, <laughs> furniture video in our new home. Thank you so, so much for watching and I can't wait to make some more videos. Bye.